Kepha Shani, 2 Peter, 1. Shimon Kepha, a servant and an apostle of Yahusha HaMashiach, to them that have obtained like precious belief with us through the righteousness of Yahuwah and our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yahuwah and of Yahusha HaMashiach, as he has given unto us all things eth, that pertain unto the power of Yahuwah, to life and the fear of Yahuwah, to the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the nature of Yahuwah, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your belief virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, the fear of Yah, and to the fear of Yah, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. But he that lacks these things is blind and cannot see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, though rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Adonai and Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach. Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Yea, I think it meet, as long as I am in this tabernacle, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach has showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from Yahuwah the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my Yahid, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shines in a dark place, until the day dawn and the brilliance arises in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahuwah spoke as they were moved, by the Ruach HaKadesh.